Hello, everyone. This is Light and, um, and her baby who's over here nursing. I wanted to take some time today to share a little update with you all about how this pony herd is doing. Those of you that have tuned into the videos that we have been sharing from from early on will remember that I actually began the first video um, with this this pony herd <laughs> and um, it was right it was right when the pandemic had begun and we all were um, not able to go to school and sheltering in place and um, these two little ones who are now scratching each other. This is how they scratch each other on the back. <laughs> These two little ones were still in their mama's tummies and their mothers are these two Shetland ponies over here eating hay behind them. They were in need of rescue. They had been taken to a um, horse trader's barn where um, they were not in a safe situation and they very much needed someone to um, bring them to a safe sanctuary. And that's what we have here at I Am Heard. We're a sanctuary for these um horses and ponies. Many of them are wild and were born wild and are Mustangs, but this particular herd, they were not born wild. They, um, they're Shetland ponies actually, but they ended up in a situation where they really needed our help. And so we adopted them and we brought them here. And within weeks, these two mama ponies who happen to be mother and daughter them theirself. Um, I'll show you again here. This is Light. And then beside her is Love. This is Love. And Love and Light are mama and daughter. They look so similar, don't they? They both had, they were pregnant when we rescued them. And within weeks of us getting them home, they gave birth to these two babies. This one was born first. His name is Karuna. And Karuna is, um, he was actually born a little premature. And oh my goodness, his, his first couple weeks of life were um, quite dicey to say the least. He almost didn't survive and um, he got really sick and I actually had to um, take care of him. He, he got so weak that he could not nurse from his mother anymore. And so I had to feed him by hand every two hours. And he even came inside and slept in the house with us at night because it was the only way that we could keep him alive. And we did that for over a week and um, really, really seemed like he was not gonna make it. The vet even thought that he was probably not gonna make it, but he did, he did. And he, he not only survived, but he is thriving now. He's doing amazingly well. And his name is Karuna. And Karuna means self-compassion. And I wonder if, um, I would love to know if you've heard of that word self-compassion, if you know what that means, self-compassion. So self-compassion, it's, it's having compassion for your own struggles, your own life experience, your own that maybe you think are inadequacies. It's 
just creating this, this open space of love in your heart for your very own self where you can be held in peace and in complete love by your very own heart. We often think of, you know, love coming from outside places, needing to be loved by parent or caregiver. And of course that's important, but there's also a love that that comes from inside of our own hearts for our own hearts. And that's what this self-compassion is all about. And this precious Karuna being, he is, he is an embodiment of this powerful self-compassion. And he has a sister. So his sister, she was born um, about a week after him, but she's way bigger. This is his little sister. She's taking a nap right now. And her name is Shanti. Shanti is a powerful word that means peace, but it's not just any kind of peace. It's a very strong peace. It's a peace that, a peace that truly enables us to live in a very centered way very connected with who we are inside. I think sometimes when we think of the word peace, we, we think of um, maybe perhaps being fragile or passive. And peace is in fact um, very strong. Shanti is a beautiful example of this strong, steadfast peace as she takes her nap beside her grandmother and mother. And as her little brother tries to crawl in the video so that he can get as close to you as he possibly can, that is pretty much what he does when I video. He tries to crawl inside of the camera because he loves all of you. And one day we hope to bring this Shetland pony herd to visit the schools in person. Hope to bring you out to visit them in person here, perhaps. It's quite amazing to see that all of this is now here. When at the beginning of this pandemic and all this rearrangement of lives and everything these two ponies were standing in a very different reality pregnant and in need of our help and then now this is what the reality is it's amazing how fast realities can change in a beautiful way in a positive way in a way that perhaps we could not even imagine that they could change and become this amazing. But yet, that potential is always there, just as it is for this poem. And each of us.